What is going on guys today we are looking at Jose Fonte the 93 center back for Lille and honestly the card genuinely looks fantastic if you compare him side by side to his gold common which I'm just pulling up right now is he has had a 44 increase on his pace I just wish I know you ask for much and, and, and I get it it's it's kind of like not happy with everything but literally four more pace and this guy becomes very usable like 76 is nice but it only takes you up to that 86 bonus we haven't looked at any acceleration or anything like that I've not looked at any in games yet so I don't know how that's going to plan out in terms of is his sprint speed 95 but his acceleration is 70 that is a potential but literally if he just has 80 pace that is by far very usable He's already got 95 defending. He's already got 93 physical. He looks fantastic. He's a free, well, he's a two-star, three-star, right-footed, six-foot-three, medium-high rate uh, work rate. Sorry, with 60k on the price tag. We have got leadership, power header, and diver tackles, which is the computer AI. So, okay, okay, that's not bad. We've got a, we've got an absolute even split. So literally. If, I suppose Catalyst would be the way to go. Because Shadow, yes, would completely max out his uh, defending. What does, a, what does a Shadow, a Catalyst do? It gives you plus 5 on his short passing and gives him 91 long pass. Um, obviously, the rest of his pass is not really too fussed about. That will be a 5 and a 10 increase compared to Shadow. Which would give him literally every defending stat as 99. That's a tough one, to be honest. Literally, I think... If you've already got 94 short pass, I'd ra would I rather you're only getting plus a plus 4 in comparison to a plus 7? Catalyst probably is the way to go. So let's just whack that on right now as we go into this. Um, so if... Oh, there we go. Look, Oh, don't matter. If we do whack the Catalyst on, which is just over here. We've got 28 of them, so we'll, we'll definitely use that over the Shadow. But Catalyst, obviously, we haven't got the plus 10 because he was purchased. But you would get a plus 10 on, obviously, the pace. Taking that up to 86, 86, which is fantastic. And then, obviously, his passing would go up to 82. But the main two stats would be 99 short pass, a 91 long pass. So, that's not terrible. He's already got great defensive stats. And like I say, physical-wise, fantastic. Stamina a little bit on the lower end, but we may be able to make that work. The only thing left for him is, is his animations good enough? His agility balance is absolutely shot, so that may be another thing that really needs to be increased for him to become very, very usable. So let's jump into it and see what he can do. Fonte. Maldini's going to step in. Don't even need to go with Fonte there. Fonte, it's all on you. He's got two versus one. Got Vardy, team of the season. Fonte gets the block. I feel like uh, Fonte is going to be one that... Really won't be used much. We had him last year, and I think he genuinely was atrocious. I'll have to pull up what the results were, because obviously his pace is the big thing. Like, his agility balance, yeah, that that's, that's that. But in terms of kind of, like, upgrading it and bringing everything about, the pace looks absolutely... It, it actually looks decent for once. So I don't know whether they did that sort of upgrade again, and it was just the agility balance that really kind of swayed him off still. But he looks all right to some extent. I just think that he is going to be really struggling against so many of the center backs that we do have already oh maradona just playing with him but obviously in terms of um other center backs we got kimpembe this week literally just twice as better in terms of kind of pace agility balance and he's technically free you can just go and play games and you can go get him canton are going for the chip back post Great save from Ariola. This is Anthony. This is where the real test would be. Someone with very high agility, very uh, balanced. Obviously, then the pace side of stuff. I really think that that could be necessarily the issue with Fonte when it comes to trying to really take the ball away from him. Whereas he deals with him there. Nothing really too testing. The guy really didn't kind of get enough speed on the go there. Fonte missing the ch challenge on Klassen. They try and go again. Oh, he's gone offside, surely. You could tell I was confident with that one. Fonte, lovely tackle. That's going to be where he really benefits you, is just the tackle inside of stuff. Obviously, with, what, 95, 93, that is a lovely kind of base stat already that you literally cannot ignore how good that will be. 
Fonte versus two. Holds out the position. I feel like he definitely should have done better with that. Bringing out the defender is the, is the number one key. You don't want to be passing or trying to be passing through a player. So obviously that one was always going to be a block from Fonte. Fonte. This is it. You can see that max speed is, is just not enough. Like I said, even if it is just four, taking him up to that 90 would be just... I don't know if it's a placebo because realistically four shouldn't make that much of a difference. But 90 is like just a nice round number on this. Yeah. Fonte. He's got to watch in. That's a great interception. Oh, and again. Lozano is going to take this shot, but doesn't doesn't want to go past Fonte, which is nice. In the big thing as well you have with Fonte is a lot of people will think that they'll be able to take him. So that first touch will literally try to be knock it around you. The easiest way, and, and obviously it, it's a bit harder because you have to kind of learn it as well, is that you just hold back. And as soon as they go for that touch, you pounce then. Rather than pouncing straight away, it makes it so much easier. The only bad thing then is that once they've learned that you're not going straight in for that tackle and they're not going to be able to just knock it around you, they'll try a different tactic. They'll hold the ball a little bit more. And then obviously then you've got to kind of pick your moments once more. But it does uh, it does kind of eliminate a lot of chances because a lot of people will do it because they'll think that eventually you will change. So obviously that's a nice little kind of like tip if you are using him. His AI blocking is absolutely fantastic if you could just get him in the way. <laughs> oh. So then, going into Fonte's overall review. Honestly, he's not awful. Like, genuinely, he's not awful, awful. Like, I could imagine you look at him and think, ah, this is not great, is it? But that big, big 44 pace increase is absolutely fantastic. And like I say, just give us four more, and this card genuinely can be somewhat usable. I do think that the balance and agility will hold him back regardless if he has 90 or 99 or even 50. That will be the big downfall, unfortunately. Having that at 62 and 70 is a big one. The only thing I think that could save this card, to be honest, it doesn't even get the agility up that much as well, is obviously trying to get that agility balance up. But obviously then that would require the pace to be that little bit higher already. Shadow does kind of max him out. You can go Catalyst, but I personally would prefer to max out defending rather than having an extra, what was it, an extra 5 and 10 on the passing in terms of there. Short passing is the way to go for him. I feel like that is a really nice little godsend there. Long passing, it depends on the position. Sometimes it's quite nice, but as a centre-back, I'm not really making them massive through balls unless I'm being pushed a little bit forward by the, uh, by the opponent. But overall, I think pace-wise is better, a hell of a lot better. Defensively and physically, incredible. The composure, well, not even the composure side of him, the, the kind of dribbling side of him in general, not the greatest, very, very stiff, and will kind of, uh, I'm not going to say he will, well, yeah, no, he will. He'll screw, he'll screw up your foot champs. That's basically what I'm trying to say. If you are kind of putting him in, trying to, to kind of see if he's worth going in foot champs, I really wouldn't bother. I think he's going to be league on side at best. And even then, there is probably centre-backs that are better in terms of their ability. Maybe rating-wise might be a little bit harder because we have got... Uh, Marquinhos, I think, is 93. And then you've got Kimpembe, who's free. So, literally, the top two there for me are Marquinhos and Kimpembe. And then you've got the likes of some of the SBCs that can filter in as well. Overall-wise, I'm going to give him an 8.4 out of 10. I feel like the pace increase is nice. The defending and the physical are absolutely phenomenal. Composure is lovely. Dribbling is very, very much on the ropes. And I think they just needed to give us a little bit more pace. And then we could maybe have focused a little bit more on the agility balance in terms of chemistry style. So hopefully you did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and put the bell button on so it keeps you notified whenever I am uploading a video. Apart from that, see you for the next one. Peace.